Oh, toadfish. Oh, look. There's a big toad there. <laughs> My beautiful wife. <laughs> Good morning. So we're um, just down at the Hay Point ramp. Heading out for a fish today. The plan is to try and collect a few live baits at the channel markers and um, head to a couple racks. I got one rack. My mate caught a 19.5 kilo cobia there once and I've caught a about 11 kilo model there. I've heard you get jewfish finger marks so hopefully get some herring and yellowtail scad and we can drop those down. Hopefully get Caitlin onto something good. I think her mum was hoping we'd go to Spanish mackerel. So we'll see how we go. Let's go. Let's go. had a bunch of uh, long tail tuna full launching in the air they were big models big ones for here I'd say 12 to 15 kilo models at least they were bulky jumping out one one and a half meters in the air um, yeah GoPro wasn't working but we didn't hook up anyways Caitlin's trying to get a hook up while I'm sorting out the camera Throw on a um, little 40 gram short catch night there. Metal lure on the um, 6,000 size. Just a nice casting outfit. Plenty of grunt in it to pull them in. Um, probably wouldn't use it on a 20 kilo GT, but for tuna, it's all right. Oh, you can see the bait just in here. Oh, look at them all. It's like raining. It's raining bait. Sure is. You got this bait jig set up ready. Where are we drifting? Don't know yet. Oh, yeah, there's stacks down there on that sound, does it? All that bait. There might be some other predators eating on the side of it, see that? Yeah. You can drop that metal lure down if you want. Yeah, just drop it down and wind it fast. I think we're getting closer to the pole. Yeah, it's all right. Ah. Okay, drop it down. Oh, so much life here, yeah, and just wind it up fast. Might be a mackerel down there or something. Oh, oh, that's a big cobia, babe. Drop that down. Drop that down. That was a big cobia. Oh, that was huge, eh? That would have been like your biggest fish ever. It looked like a shark, but that was a cobia. 
Oh, I wonder if I got that on camera. Just see it doing the same thing, cast it, drop it and wind it. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> that was very good footage, eh, if I got it. You can cast out there if you want and let it sink down. If we can get some live baits, definitely um, we'll be hooking up to one of them. He came right up. He did. Tempted him. I have to get the old lures out. <laughs> Down 16 meters, probably. Yeah, probably. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, what was that? Nothing in there. I look like a golden trevally. <laughs> That's what we are after. Oh, the hook. We're seeing the fish, really. Yeah. Can you get one? Yeah. Ah. You saw that one fish. I just looked at the big fish. After these little... Oh, look at it! It's a yellow tail! See if I can throw it out on this white trace from in that water. Whoops. We got this um, twin, ah, twin um, live bait rig here made from wire. I'm gonna throw one hook in the nose, so I might maybe just in the eye like that. And one hook out the back. There we go. Live bait set up. Pre-floating in case mackerel hits it. I'll oh, mosey on over there again, I think, my love. Can you turn that motor on? Yeah, quick. Why was that down there? No. Oh no. Yeah, turn it off. So we had a bit of a um, bit of an issue happen. I put the um, the bait rod down with the squid leaning and I thought the bail arm was over. Caitlin's like, oh the rod's going off. And the um yeah the propeller was just collecting all my line. So we've lost heaps of line on that reel. And I'm um, just trying to get this line off the back which I've nearly got it all off. Hopefully it's all good. I don't really want to hop in the water out here. Um it's just coming off. Just had to chop the line. Chop the line and then it put it in neutral and it seems to be spinning off it slowly. Lucky I can still reach just this pile on. What do you got? Oh, you got a massive Spanish on. Big Spanish. Oh, my belly. He's strong. He's stronger than my arms. <laughs> Hasn't gone for a run yet. This got this stupid bait jig tangled on here. Where You're all right. Just hold him there. This is the worst thing about bait jigs. Spanish mackerel on the line, which 
shoe. Ah, oh, that can stay there. <laughs> Alright, wind him up towards the boat and I'm gonna gaff him. Alright, yep, just slowly babe, slowly. He might run because he hasn't even ran yet, has he? Yeah. Is that filming? me? Yeah. Yeah, well, you got one, that's what we are trying to do. Alright, slowly just hold him there, wind him up a bit more. Just so he's on the top of the water for me. Oh. I don't want to drop the scarf, eh? Yeah, just hold him, hold him, hold him. There you go. Oh, my legs are a bit shaky still as well. From, um, <laughs> when I was... I just let him go? Just find him in now. He's a good fish. I should take you on board more often. <laughs> Get this out of the way. I'm running out of pump. Well, you, you got one for your mum. Yeah. As you get close. Just keep him out on this side. Well done, my love. Well done. Thanks. Look at that. It's a beautiful fish. <sighs> Bring him in closer though, because I can't reach him. Right. Yeah. Not that man. Crikey. <laughs> wind him up, wind him up. Far. Far out. Let the line out. Good job. That's a good fish. Well done, my love. Very good fish. <laughs> you hurt my arm? Um, pretty lively still. Oh, that's bigger than your other one you caught. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Caitlin's a beautiful Spanish there. While it's still a little bit live looking and holding him up. Woo! On a little 40 gram <laughs> chrome. Well, I'm trying to get live bait, she's stuck to the lures. She's like, nah, I don't use bait. <laughs> Beautiful fish, well done, my love. Thank you. I'm a bit jealous, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the spot rot. <laughs> Just casting Second what Spanish. is that? This little metal. You're so lucky it didn't chop you off. It was a bit shredded, actually. Got no, um, why, leader? All chaos this morning. <laughs> Lures in cast nets, bait jigs wrapped around. Oh, like if something took that live bait out there now, all these rods probably go with it because it's a mess. But for that, it's worth it. <laughs> a beautiful wife gonna... caught it all in her own. Babe, got a catch of the day. <sighs> You're gonna hold it up? Nah. <laughs> you catch bigger fish than I do. Um, I'm excited to catch my second Spanish mackerel. And got him He's dropping down the metal jig. Nearly broke my arm off. <laughs> Get some more muscles. Thanks, Luke, for getting me on to my second Spanish. Turn that here again. Because he's got sharp teeth. My second mackerel! Woo! That was so good you caught that. That's what luring's all about. Just working at find the likely spots, bait, sounder, and it's just, it is hoping still, but like, you know they will bite it because there's evidence. It's good when you experience that because a lot of people don't get them on the lures and then they just, they never do it because they're like, yeah, you never catch anything on them. And they get bites on bait, so that's what they just keep doing. But like, you just catch little brims. Yeah. When are you going to catch a mackerel like that on a prawn? <laughs> I like the lures put it back on. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's the most effective method on mackerel is just fast wine. It's a little slimy mackerel. Is that a pattern on him? A little slimy. He's fast. Whoa. Well, some sort of. It's cool. <laughs> right, so we got a slimy mackerel speeding around in there. He's so fast. Look at him go. And uh, I'm gonna take this yellow tail off. I got this two hook wire rig. So you can see the little wire there between the two hooks. And then I think they call that the bimini twist short strand there so your mackerel doesn't knock you off. And I've just added a running sinker on this one because I uh, just get it down mid-water at least. We're going to drift past this area and see if we pick up another mackerel or cobia on that live bait. I'm loading up. Oh, yep. Yeah, I'm on. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just keep going back like that. Is this recording? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Good work, babe. Maybe knock it a little bit faster. Oh no, it's good. Can you just go a bit right hand down? Yeah, that's good. On the live bait. That's what I'm talking about. Left hand down. And we'll just go out this way. Oh. Must be right there. Well, it's kind of a dead bait, but... Got leader. Alright, oh, knock it out of gear now. What do we got? Ah, <sighs> oh, dirty little true valley. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you catch all the big fish? <laughs> Just kidding. It's cool looking. Beautiful Trevally there. I think he's just a baby GP. Could have a really good account for himself on that rod. Ate a whole live slimy mackerel. Uh, send him home. Bye, fishy. Oh, there he goes. Thanks for watching another episode of Endless Seas Fishing. Caitlin and I had an epic time out there. Um, it's good to see her show me how it's done. She's become the Spanish queen lately. Very proud of her catching that on her own on the lure, winding it in. Um, yeah, and that big cobia that followed the lure to start with was very epic as well. That would have been sick to hook into that fish. Thanks guys, don't forget to subscribe, share it to your friends, family, like the video, comment, share it, turn the notification bell on, very much appreciate it, and we will see you in the next episode.